Hi guys, welcome to our channel. This time, we're going to present top 5 best cyberpunk anime of all time. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of our latest videos. Check this out. Number 5 is Blame Movie. Blame Movie is an anime adaptation from manga with the same name made by Tsutomu Nihei. This anime premiered in May 2017. Blame Movie is set in the distant technological future. Civilization has reached its ultimate not past form. An infection in the past caused the automated systems to spiral out of order, resulting in a multi-leveled city structure that replicates itself infinitely in all directions. Now, humanity has lost access to the city's controls and is hunted down and pushed by the different system known as a safeguard. In a tiny corner of the city, a little enclave known as the Electrofishers is facing eventual extinction, trapped between the threat of the safeguard and dwindling food supplies. A girl named Siri goes on a journey to find food for her village, only to inadvertently cast in when an observation tower senses her and summons a safeguard pack to eliminate the threat. With her companions dead and all escape routes blocked, the only thing that can save her now is the sudden arrival of Kili the Wanderer and his quest for the Nat Terminal Gens, the key to restoring order to the world. Blame presents a sci-fi anime set in a cyberpunk world with a complex story. Even with this complex story, this anime is able to present the story in a well-written manner and can still be enjoyed for both ordinary audiences and even for people who have read manga. Although of course, for the movie anime, because the duration isn't long enough to make some parts of the story in the original manga changed to be able to shorten the time, the various conflicts presented can still be enjoyed. From a visual's perspective, the use of 3D animation from the Polygon Picture Studio is quite smooth and neat, although as usual there are deficiencies in the frame rate. But in terms of animation, background art, and character design already feel very good. Overall, we're looking for a sci-fi anime set in a cyberpunk world that has a complex and interesting story to watch, then Blame could be one of your choices. Number 4 is Erica Proxy Erica Proxy is an original anime made by Man Club and directed by Shuko Murase. This anime aired from February 2006 to August 2006, with total had 23 episodes. Erica Proxy is set in the city of Bramdo place that lies one of the last human civilizations on Earth. Thousands of years ago, a global ecological catastrophe doomed the planet. Now, life outside these domes is virtually impossible. To expedite mankind's recovery, outer virus, humanoid-like robots, have been created to assist people in their day-to-day -day lives. However, outer virus have begun contracting an enigmatic disease called the Kogido virus which grants them self-awareness. Rewan Mayer, granddaughter of Bramdo's ruler, is assigned to investigate this phenomenon alongside her ultra partner Iggy. But what begins as a routine investigation quickly spirals into a conspiracy as Rewan is confronted by humanity's darkest sins. Elsewhere in Ramdo, an ultra specialist by the name of Vincent Lowe must also face his demons when surreal events begin occurring around him. Rayuan, Iggy, Vincent, and the child ultra rift named Beno will form an unlikely faction as they struggle to uncover Ramdo's mysteries and ultimately discover the true purpose of the mythical beings called Praxis. Echo Praxis presents a sci-fi anime with a cyberpunk world setting. Not much different from other cyberpunk anime, the anime also has a complex and dark storyline. And the anime will see various conflicts that are also somewhat dark but are interesting to follow, ranging from political intrigue, illegal experiments, and many more. With an interesting story, the characters in the anime also have unique personalities and feel so realistic. But all the characters feel far fetching with the nuances of the story presented by the anime itself. From the visual side, the animation looks far in it, and the background art also looks quite detailed and is able to bring the cyberpunk feel quite well. Overall, if you're looking for a sci-fi anime with an interesting story, even though it's a bit complex, then this anime is suitable for you to watch. Number 3 is Akira Akira is an anime adaptation from manga with the same name by Katsuhiro Atama. The anime premiered in Japan in July 1988. 
Akira set in Japan 1988. An explosion caused by a young boy with psychic powers tears through the city of Tokyo and ignites the fears that leads to World War III. In order to prevent any further destruction, he is captured and taken into custody, never to be heard from again. Now, in the year 2019, a restored fashion of the city known as Neo Tokyo, an area rife with gang violence and terrorism against the current government, stands in its place. Here, Shotaru Kanida leads the capsules, a group of misfits known for riding large, custom motorcycles and being in constant conflict with their rivals, the clones. During one of these battles, Shotaru's best friend Tatsuo Shima is caught up in an accident with an expert who finds himself in the streets of Tokyo after escaping confinement from a government institution. Through this encounter, Tatsuo begins to develop his own mysterious savages as the government seeks to quarantine this latest psychic in a desperate attempt to prevent him from unleashing the destructive power that could once again bring the city to its knees. Akira presents a sci-fi anime about cyberpunk world that feels realistic even though the story is quite dark. While the storyline does deliver fair well and well written, making the nuances and dark themes brought by this anime become very pronounced. Starting from the depiction of a future city filled with motorcycle gangs, terrorists, and even a mysterious figure who has extraordinary powers like God. The conflict presented by the anime itself feels very interesting, especially with the passage of the story. The conflict that once seemed simple in the end became very large and complex. In terms of characterizations, the characters in this anime have unique and interesting personalities and backgrounds. And each of these characters has an important role in making the story more interesting to follow. From a visual perspective, the animation presented looks very smooth and neat for a movie anime art in the 80s. The background art was also drawn in great detail which made the cyberpunk feel very noticeable. Overall, if you're looking for a cyberpunk anime that has a very exciting and unique story, then Akira is an anime that you must watch. Number 2 is Psycho Pass Psycho Pass is an original anime made by studio production IG and directed by Katsuyuki Motohiro and Naoyoshi Shiotani. The first season of the anime aired from October 2012 to March 2013, with a total half of 2 episodes. The second season aired from October 2014 to December 2014, with a total had 11 episodes. And the third season aired from October 2019 to December 2019, with a total had 8 episodes. There were also 4 movies, with the first movie premiered in January 2015. The second movie premiered in January 2019, the third movie premiered in February 2019, and the fourth movie premiered in March 2019. Psycho Pass takes place in the 22nd century, when Japan enforces the civil system, an objective means of determining the threat level of each citizen by examining their mental state for sense for criminal intent, known as their Psycho Pass. Inspectors uphold the law by subjugating, often with lethal force, anyone harboring the slightest still will belongs to them or enforces. Jaded inspectors that have become lethal criminals, granted relative freedom in exchange for carrying out the inspector's dirty work. Into this world steps Sakane Zunemori, a young woman with an honest desire to uphold justice. However, as she works alongside veteran enforcer Shinya Kogami, she also learns that civil systems judgments are not as perfect as her fellow inspectors assume. With everything she has known turned on its head, I can wrestlers with the question of what justice truly is, and whether it can be upheld through the use of a system that may already be corrupt. And the Zanime will be given various interesting cases around various kinds of people who have mental problems which will then be captured or killed by the inspectors depending on the threat level of their psycho paths. The story presented in the Zanime is really interesting because in every small crime that occurs, there is always a mystery that will eventually lead to a core problem that turns out to be much bigger. It's not only the mystery that's interesting, but the action presented is no less exciting and tense, so you won't feel bored while watching it. As the story goes on, we'll also get to know various personalities and backgrounds of the characters in this anime. Unlike most anime, the characters in this anime feel more realistic, so it's difficult to determine who's good or bad. The visuals presented looks amazing, coupled with the background that can bring nuance in the anime itself. 
Overall, if you like anime about police, mystery, and action, then this anime is suitable for you to watch. Number 1 is Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex or Kokaku Kidotai Standalone Complex is an original anime based from Ghost in the Shell manga made by Masamu Nishiro. It's also served as an alternative setting for a Ghost in the Shell anime film that premiered in 1995. The first season of this anime itself aired from October 2002 to October 2003, and the second season aired from January 2004 to January 2005, with each season half of all 26 episodes. There is also a movie that premiered in September 2006. Ghost in the Shell's standalone complex story takes place in the not so distant future, where mankind has advanced to a stage where complete body transplants from flesh to machine is possible. This allows for great increases in both physical and cybernetic prowess and blurring the lines between the two worlds. However, criminals can also make full use of such technology, leading to new and sometimes very dangerous crimes. In response to such innovative new methods, the Japanese government has established Section 9, an independently operating police unit which deals with such highly sensitive crimes. Led by Daisuke Aramaki and Motoko Kusanagi, Section 9 deals with such crimes over the entire social spectrum, usually with success. However, when faced with a new A-level hacker nicknamed The Loving Man, the team is drawn in the dangerous cat and mouse game, following the hacker's trail as it leaves its mark on Japan. Not much different from the Ghost in the Shell anime from the Edge in 1995, Ghost in the Shell's standalone complex also presents sci-fi and military anime that has a complex story. From the story presented in the anime, we are shown the dark side of a human society in the future, which all involve a variety of sophisticated technology. Aside from the fairly complex story, the first action scenes presented also feel real and quite intense. It shows that the anime is more suitable for its adult audience to watch. The characters in the anime also have personality that feels realistic, even though each character has a different personality. Even so, each character in this anime plays an important role in the course of a story that was delivered. The visuals presented look good, although the animation may not be as smooth as the Ghost in the Shell anime that aired in 1995, but for a TV series, this anime looks like it has a pretty smooth animation. Existing background art is also be able to display the futuristic theme really well, and also the character design looks natural and perfect with the anime theme. Overall, if you're looking for military and sci-fi anime with complex and complicated stories, then this anime is suitable for you to watch. That's all top 5 best cyberpunk anime of all time that we can present this time. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time guys!